And hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, we want to discuss turbulence modeling. And you should already know for this video, you should know what the basic Navier Stokes equations are, at least for the incompressible case, because we're going to do turbulence for incompressible fluids. So these are the above the Navier Stokes, Navier Stokes, however you name them. I don't know how to pronounce it properly, but it's all right. As long as you know what they are, what they describe, these three are the momentum equations. This one is the continuity equation. If you collapse them into vector form and you look on Wikipedia, you'll find something similar to this. So this is what we snap from Wikipedia. All right. So if you col collapse all these into a vector form, this is what you will get. And of course, you can replace these terms on the left hand side with the substantial derivative big D by dt of the velocity vector. Okay, so in, uh, yep, yeah, this is what you get on Wikipedia. And of course, this w is not a velocity. This is uh, defined in Wikipedia as follows 1 by rho naught, which is the fluid density, into the uh, gradient of P, which is this vector, del P del X, del P del Y, del P del Z in Cartesian coordinates. So that's what it's talking about. It's not a velocity. So this is the less confusing form of the vector uh, form. All right. So uh, let's begin, and I'll start. We'll start with a reminder of what this uh, substantial derivative is, in case we forgot, and. What the goal of this video is, is to substitute the instantaneous velocity with some uh, into uh, average velocity and uh, the fluctuating bit. Because if you, if you know what uh, turbulence is about, yeah, we, we can see that we can try and do some averaging. Averaging of the uh, Navier-Stokes equations to get the uh, average velocity and some fluctuating bit of the velocity. And if we substitute this into the Navier-Stokes equations, we will find some interesting terms that pop out. And that is a very important fundamental for turbulence modeling. So first thing first, I'm going to copy all of this down. All of this down here. Okay. Maybe I'll give you a different highlight. Maybe I'll give it a green highlight because this is very important. These are fundamental incompressible fluid equations. So we want to substitute, let's say, this into this, right? And since this uh, substantial derivative derivative has a v and w, we will need to define what uh, v and w are. So v equals to v bar, which is the average v velocity, plus v prime, and w equals to w bar, average z velocity, or its velocity in the z direction, plus the fluctuating component of the velocity in the z direction. So this is the fluctuating component, this is the average. So now, we want to expand uh, the x direction one first. Let's expand in x direction. Okay. Oh. So I'm going to copy just this down. And we're going to consider this substantial derivative. And we want to get rid of this, uh, this first. And then we'll have a U. Yeah, I'll just copy and paste this down. Okay. There'll be a u here, there'll be a u here, and there'll be a u here. Okay. And so, uh, you'll get that. And this, we assume this gravity term, body force term doesn't fluctuate. Sometimes we can just ignore it. This p term here, this pressure term will be fluctuating. So again, we'll have a need to do a p bar plus P prime. So let's let's uh, substitute the pressure in first. So I'll just substitute as follows. So I'll just copy and paste in, into here. So 
So this just becomes the different derivative with respect to x, partial derivative of this average pressure and this uh, this uh, fluctuating one. <coughs> and if we'll just substitute the u here, so we'll need to substitute these three relations into our um, into our expression. Okay, we'll need to substitute that in. So there we go. That's one. That's two. That's three. That's four. And I'll just keep going until all the substitutions are finished. So, of course, if you do it on Microsoft Word, it can be as simple as a copy and paste, <coughs> if you know how to do this properly. So, I'm going to get this uh, V velocity in. So, I'm going to eliminate this and put this here. And W velocity in as well, which is the Z velocity. Put that in as well. Okay. Now, of course, uh, we'll need to substitute all of this into our continuity equation as well. Of course, we might need that later on. Okay, so that means I'll unbold it. plus partial v partial y plus all right we'll have all these okay we'll have all these <coughs> and then we will have uh, the substitution of these in as usual okay we'll just substitute this in So immediately, well, we can simplify the continuity equation as follows. Okay, maybe I'll do a copy and paste and uh, it'll be easier to see. So first one, I just want the average velocities. There you go. And that's what we have for our continuity uh, equation. Now, um, we got to... And so we arrive at these two substitutions. So one into one typical momentum balance, one into the continuity equation. So what's the next step? What is, what is the next step? The next step is that, okay, well, we have all these uh, extra terms here. What are we going to do with them? we got to eliminate them. Why are we eliminate them? Because we are time averaging. Now, in the, in the you know, engineering interest, we are not so interested in uh, all these little uh, fluctuations in velocity. We're more interested in the average velocities of the fluid. So, for example, you have uh, uh, 50 gallons per minute kind of a pipe and it's like turbulent. Would you really care whether, you know, uh, the, the fluid 
inside the pipe is fluctuating here and there. Not so much. Perhaps only to the point where it's causing stress to the pipe, then you may start getting concerned. But other than that, you're still get, getting like 50 gallons per minute or 50 or let's say 150 liters per minute. If it's turbulent, uh, I don't really care what's inside going on inside the pipe. I want my 150 gallons and I want my pipe to hold together and not leak. So in terms of engineering interest, we are not very interested in all these uh, little quantities. So we need to do a time average. And that is what we want to explore in our next video. So hang around. Thanks for watching. If you like this, hit the like and subscribe button. We'll see you guys next time.